Hello people, since last video I have done quite a lot of stuff. Ow. Most of that's been sitting on my backside in a mine shaft, but you know, has to be done. I've been in there for a bit. This basically leads down to bedrock and there is a ravine at the bottom. I've been in there doing some mining. Also made myself some basics. And here is what I've managed to acquire. Pretty decent amount of stuff. This was all legit. Yes, and all of this as well. Focus on 12 diamonds. Now, as I said in the last episode, we're going to be making the house. And I have a couple of plans for this house. First of all, it's going to be over here. And I'm going to need to make some planks of this. Now, you know, on the, on the surface it's going to be a nice, peaceful woodland retreat. But, once you get further into it... And I still... I, I totally forgot I was going to need some glass. But, oh well, I'll sort that out later. I'll just leave holes for the windows. There was a debate in school once we had. What classifies a window? One of my friends in particular will remember this. We had a rather interesting debate about what a window had to be to be classed as a window. You could punch a hole in a wall and call it a window, but would it really be a window unless it had glass or wall? what are windows designed for? It's a really, really interesting, if not to say strange, debate. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nah, I'll go from there. So yeah, my plan is to have a nice woodland retreat. And then, underneath that, as you guys might have noticed, I collected some marble. Underneath that is going to be my sciency base, where I do all my sciency stuff. And my magic as well. Yeah, so I'm just going to build this area up a bit. And I'll restart the video when this is finished. Alright, so peeps, and prepare. After all this time, to see the most badass house you have ever seen in your lives. Ta-da! It's a box. Yes, it's been taking me quite a while to make this monstrosity. It's been a nightmare. I've had to go out and get more wood, move all my stuff from the chests. It's funny, look, that sheer amount of stuff that I have got is pretty awesome. It's just sort of semi-organised into organic random stuff that no one cares about. And my regular chest with all my stuff in. I've also made my scientific mischief area down here for when I do get onto the science. But today we're going to be focusing on sort of general stuff. I need to move some of the, I need to move the crafting table at least. For now, I can I can leave the furnace there for the minute. So yeah, we're going to need to do some general equivalent exchange stuff. So I'm gonna first need to go and get some obsidian from my mineshaft. Enough for another portal. Or I could just skip the for the transmute table and go straight for the condenser. But do I need glowstone for any of the covalences? I don't think I do actually. Um, I'm just gonna get enough obsidian anyway. Cause, you know, never hurts. Might take a while though. Yeah, I'm keeping my videos to 15 minutes. So what do you guys want to see in the future videos? Yeah, so, it doesn't quite go down to bedrock, but... Level 11 is the one I always use for mining. 
And this is the monstrosity that is where I got all of those materials from. See all the bridging that's been done and stuff. This place used to be more rich, but you know, it's not anymore. Kinda sucks, but Right, I'm gonna need let's see. About fourteen. Should be enough. I'm also gonna need some more cool stuff. So you all scientists need their gadgets. The idea of this probably just gonna be get as overpowered as possible in the least time as possible and make the coolest stuff possible. I found also some oil which you can see on the minimap which I'll be going to collect at a later date. So yeah, this mining, this block, taken quite a while. Yeah, 14 is an ideal amount. 10 for the portal, 4 for the condenser. I got lucky at least, I've got about 27 butter which I can easily transmute into more diamonds. Should give me a decent amount to be honest, so yeah. No problems there guys, just... Mining obsidian, they should really t make it a bit quicker. Also need the four cobblestone, I'm not just doing that for no reason. I think I could put my nether portal down here. I think that would actually be quite cool, or maybe not. Ugh, come on, it's taking forever. It's took about two minutes so far. And the other two minutes before the house building. Come on. Singing song while I'm waiting for the last one. Oh wait, this is still 1.2.5 because I play Tekken Classic. As you might notice with some of the food sprites. Yeah, this took a long time to mine. I've been at it for about two to three hours. But that's the best way to start tech it. I always find it's quite hard if you try and sort of like do stuff and then get stuff and then do, do stuff. I mean, once you've set up a stable equivalent exchange, this could be all the mining that I have to do for the whole series. Fingers crossed. Because no one likes mining really. It's Kinda good, but it gets boring after a while. It's like, I've been pretty bored, but gotta bite the bullet if you want to be cool. Let's go over here. Go. Our portal. The annoying thing is like when you double click awkwardly. Well, I'm not even gonna light it yet, because I don't need it frankly. Right, for this job I will need about six diamonds. Leave three in there. A redstone, an iron. I also need a charcoal. Hmm. I remember roughly that. Oh, are you kidding? If someone get some more wood to make my charcoal, and this is really gonna be an OCD pain in the butt later, but I'll live for now. More rubber. I'll collect that some other day. So yes, I'm also gonna need to move the furnace. Ah, so many things to do. And my computer's gonna run out of charge any minute now. 
So, better be safe than sorry. I'm gonna go and nab my charger and be right back. Alright, dude, I'm all plugged in with my charger and ready to go. Furnace, go here. This is just a temporary thing. Burn these sticks. I don't really need them. Get myself a charcoal. I also need some stone. Oh, so many things in this game that you need. Right, constantly just... Right. Let's start easy. Get some... Right. First ingredient. The rubbish covalence dust. Next ingredient, the mid covalence dust, and I've forgotten how you make the last one, so I'm going to have to check. Oh, of course, just regular coal, which I have an abundance of. I also need two regular stone. Which can easily obtain. This. I don't have a clue really. Right, so what else is there? It's a stone, I need a substantial amount of iron. Energy condenser. One of the coolest things made so far. It's raining. I guess I'll put this in my sciencey, sciencey mischief area. So, for any of you who haven't played Tech It before, what this basically does is gets rid of all of that nickelite and other stuff. Keep the stack whatever reason. I don't know if I might want it. One of everything really. Never diamond. So anyone who's not played Tech It much before, energy condensers are one of the coolest things in the game, in my opinion. Look at this. Just shove all your random rubbish in there. Start them making extra of whatever you put in here and this doesn't have to be diamonds it can be anything in the game really ah, i think i just clicked massively there we go i've aimed another seven diamonds from all that it's not bad in fact it's not bad at all so um i don't know how long i've been going this episode it might be a particularly short video but in the next episode, we will probably be working with some basic machinery. Facts. Let's have a look around and see if there's anything I can do. I could go to the Nether and get some glowstone. And that way I can show you. In fact, that can wait. I'm all 7850 and peace out guys.